Welcome to the Period in Third Period, a choose your own adventure that can help you learn how to manage your menstrual cycle. Let's go. It's a typical day in third period history. Mrs. Danvers a little too excited about Vikings, Kyle Waters is digging for gold again, and you're presenting a report in front of the whole class in a few minutes. But suddenly, ugh, your period's starting and you need to think fast. Do you tell Mrs. Danver your cat ate your notes so you can't present your report, retreat into a fantasy world of your own making, or excuse yourself and deal with it? Hmm, Mrs. Danver's not buying it. Choose again. Do you retreat into a fantasy world of your own making, or excuse yourself and deal with it? You've done the research, so you calmly excuse yourself and consider your options. A. Use a tampon. B. Use a pad. C. Use a menstrual cup. Made of cotton and shaped like a small cylinder, tampons are inserted inside the vagina, where they absorb menstrual fluid before it leaves the body. You can use a tampon either with or without an applicator. To use a tampon with an applicator, first, make sure that the string is hanging out of the applicator tube. Hold the applicator between your fingers, then insert the bigger end of the tube into the vagina. Press the narrow end of the tube with your finger, pushing the tampon in place. Finally, remove the applicator while leaving the string hanging out so you can remove it later. To use a tampon without an applicator, hold the base of the tampon between your index finger and thumb. Insert the tampon into the vagina. Push it inside gently with your finger. Then remove your finger, leaving the string hanging out so you can pull it out later. See the product box for full detailed directions. And with a little practice, you'll figure out what works best for you. Remember, each tampon can be used only once and should be changed every four to six hours to prevent leakage and toxic shock syndrome, a rare but serious infection. Oh yeah, make sure to dispose of it correctly when you're done. Sanitary pads are placed inside of a person's underwear and outside of the vagina, where they absorb menstrual blood and tissue. Most pads have adhesives to help them stay in place, and some even have little wings that fold over your underwear for a better fit and protection from leakage. Pads come in a variety of sizes and absorbencies to match how heavy or light your period flow is. Each pad can be used only once, and it's recommended you change it every three to four hours. You might also try panty liners, a lighter form of a pad that can be used for light menstrual flow or as a backup to other products. See the product box for full detailed directions. And with a little practice, you'll figure out what works best for you. And oh yeah, make sure to dispose of it correctly when you're done. Made of silicone, rubber, or latex, menstrual cups have an open base on one end and a pointed tip at the other. They're inserted inside the vagina, where they collect menstrual fluid that's been released from the uterus, unlike tampons or pads, which absorb the fluid. To use it, fold the cup into a U-shape or triangle. Hold the folded sides firmly in place between your thumb and forefinger so that the folded base is facing away from your palm. Gently separate the labia with your free hand and then push the folded cup into the vaginal opening so that the tip of the stem is no further than half an inch into the vagina. Either when it's halfway or full way in, grip the base of the cup, not the stem, and turn it 360 degrees. If it rotates easily, you'll know that it's fully open and positioned correctly. To remove the cup, pull gently on the stem until you can reach the base. Pinch the base of the cup to release the seal and continue to pull down to remove it. Then, empty its contents in the toilet and wash the cup with warm water. Though you'll have to remove and clean the cup at least every 12 hours, you can keep using the same cup for up to a year. Reusability means fewer trips to the store, lower cost, and less effect on the environment. See the box for full detailed directions, and with a little practice, you'll figure out what works best for you. Having expertly dealt with your period, you return to class in time to deliver your report with confidence. Yeah, you pretty much nailed it. When you know your options, you can make the best choices for you.